Hey guys, I'm going to share with you today how you can up-level your social media by using graphics. And so something you may have not known is like for different types of apps and you have to basically you know, pay a third party app or something like that in order for you to basically, you know, use something without their watermark. And I find that to be a little bit annoying, especially if I don't want to shove out the extra money in order to make that creative thing. Um, and so who needs another subscription? So I found that you can do a lot of things like video memes, regular memes, and memes with GIFs. You can do that right inside of Canva. And so in full transparency, I do have the Pro feature because I really love Canva and its features, but you can do all of this on the free app. Um, your options may be slightly limited, but there's still a lot of value, a lot of good things that you can do in here for free. So we're going to get into this. So basically, what you want to do is make sure to make a video meme you want to have your video obviously and the text that you want to write um, whether you wanted to just have one up here or you want to have two text boxes so what you do is you just click on the text and you can click add a heading because you want to grab people's attention and then you can just edit it and write whatever you're going to write there um, and then the next thing you do is that you want to take the corners and you know scale it to make sure that it's going to fit inside of the Instagram um, grid. Now, I do want to say here because my video happened to be a few like seconds over a minute. And so if you find that your video is over a minute, you also want to make sure that you make an IGTV cover uh, for your video. So that way, when people go to your profile grid on Instagram, they're not just seeing something random. They actually know what it is based upon the title. So all I did was once I completed my video meme, I just went over to IGTV. Um, I actually screenshot this entire thing and then I uploaded the screenshot into Canva and then I just dragged it in here. And so you can actually see that it's here and then I have my title. All right, so if you you know end up having text or text that you don't want, you could just get rid of it. Also, um, up here is how you change whatever font. So whatever font speaks you or that you enjoy, you can change it as well. I also have a Grammarly plugin <laughs> that is getting in the way um, to help me write correctly. And you also want to scale the text down. So I want to say if you're making an IGTV that you want to make sure that your text is somewhere around the 56 range because you don't want your words to get cut off um, in the Instagram grid because the Instagram grid is a square and Instagram IGTV is a rectangle. So you want to make sure your text, whatever you have, is in here. And so you can literally just drag whatever clips or photos right into the website here. I love using the website as opposed to the app and then it'll actually show up in your upload section. So you have images, you have videos, and then you have audio. And so you just drag it in there. And then when you click it, it'll actually pop up right here for you. And so I have my text that you know grabs people's attention. I'm telling them to stop doing something. And then I have my video. And so it'll automatically play when I share it to Instagram. And then I have a call to action that they can, you know, watch the rest of the video on YouTube. And that's the name of my channel. And so you want to have, if you do decide to do you know, a secondary text, uh, and you want to make sure that you use call to actions, or you can use a transcription service, um, like Rev or something like that. But um, I didn't do that here. And so I just wanted people to go check out the video on YouTube. Other call to actions could be link in bio, send me a direct message, comment below your feelings, 
uh, like if you agree, save if you agree, things like that. Whatever your uh, purpose for putting the video and whatever call to action you want your viewers to take. And so that's how you just make your video memes. The same thing applies if you want to make GIFs. You can just have your text in here, just click on whatever GIF that you want and it'll pop up right there. And then you just move it down um, and scale it correctly. Um, depending upon what you're posting for, like if it's a less than a minute video or if it's more. But obviously, um, if it's, you know, it's not a video, it's a GIF, um, then it won't take up too much time because GIFs just, you know, be in a constant loop. So that is just some of my secrets today. Um, I do also want to share really quick like where you can actually find this. So if you click on more, um, and you'll see all the different plugins here. So you can put emojis, um, you can embed different things. Um, so they have a list of different things that you can do. So I would click on Giphy um, and then um, it should allow me, oh, it actually put like some confetti stuff on here. So that, that's basically an example of that. But if I actually go down to more and I actually click on Giphy, then you can actually search whatever GIF that you're looking for to add it in. And that was how I, I used that. So yeah, that's how you do it.